Hi, this is Paul. I wanted to make a quick video about uh, Warner Brothers. They recently hired uh, uh, Walter Hamada to oversee the DCU film slate, you know, going forward. Uh, he came from the New Line cinema side. Uh, he, I think this summer, he, he he's a producer, uh, uh, he's a close friend of James Wan, and he's also worked on, uh, I think he worked on It last year and Annabelle Creation, uh, two of the more successful Warner Brothers movies uh, that came out last year. And he's supposed to be working alongside, you know, Jeff Johns, but he's supposed to be the singular voice. And Jeff Johns is going to, you know, consult uh, with the DCEU going forward. And I look forward to him because he's had a successful track record as a producer. And hopefully he can, with one singular voice, I know John Burr was there before, but at least, and they had, you know, Jeff Johns working with him. But at least now with one person, one guy that's been successful before in the past, hopefully they can shepherd the films going forward. And hopefully, like I said, as long as one of the brothers get to don't screw around with the uh, with him, with the films and let Walter Hamada be the point man. Let him be the you know the you know let him be the one to talk to the you know to the, with the filmmakers directly. And no more of these stupid edicts about films having to be two hours and and cutting movies up and shifting the tone. Let filmmakers be creative and stop trying to micromanage and I think that's was the biggest thing with with would ruin Justice League. You know, um, I did a video on my other channel about saying my two most disappointing movies in one and and my number one movie but that was most disappointing me was Justice League because I was so looking forward to it. But again, the studio executives totally screwed that film. Uh, you know, the president coming with that stupid edict that the movie had to be two less than two hours and you know, hiring uh, Josh Whedon to come out and mixing his style with Zack Snyder's style, which turned out to be a mess, and just really, you know, <laughs> screwed up the film that we've been waiting for most of our life. And hopefully now with him, Walter Hamada, with his one singular vision and his track record of being successful, and like I said, he's a good friend with James Wan, who's a great filmmaker. Hopefully going forward, you know, with these solo movies, uh, you know, you can get the DCU back on track. And hopefully, like I said, they will announce... Uh, I have to check because I know they keep saying the DCE films. And I think a couple of weeks ago they announced what the what the films are going forward, and hopefully they will do a Man of Steel two, do the solo Batman movie, solo Wonder Woman movie, a Flash movie that's not Flashpoint, okay? And you know, Shazam movies coming up as well, and Aquaman of course is coming out, and do the concentrate on the solo movies, and then you can come back to the to uh, to the Justice League you know part two and you know or the second Justice League movie where exactly you can actually hopefully maybe even get James Wan to direct that or bring somebody else in, have this guy bring in somebody else and then you can bring them all together. Just concentrate on the solo movies and work with Jeff Johns. He knows those, the characters very well and he's a good producer and I think he, as long as you stick to that and don't let the executives micromanage the movies. That's what killed Justice League. That stupid edict about, and that's why everybody wants to see a Josh you know, wants to see a, a Zack Snyder cut of the Justice League because his idea, all these ideas that we're hearing about, we thought think it would have been a better, way better movie if you would have actually stuck to his cut. And that's why everybody wants to see his cut. And whether we get that cut or not, I hope we do. Ho hopefully down the line we look at that his cut, and which I think would be a it's going to be a way better movie, and just it would wrap up his trilogy right. And hopefully they they'll hopefully they'll do that. Hopefully this guy will sign off on that. Okay, I know they, they might be a little lucky to do that because it may embarrass them for what they released. <laughs> okay, but I'm hoping. But hopefully Walter and Hamada will, you know, I'm going to put my faith in. Like I said, I still haven't given up on the DCU, even though, like I said, it was my most disappointing movie of 2017, just leave, even though I was so looking forward to it. But and again, again, and it's perfect, perfectly right what they call it, a Frankenstein movie, because... With all the different pieces, like the Warner Brothers tried to put all these different pieces together again and created a mess, a monster, an untamed monster, and which is what we got, unfortunately. So anyway, let me know what you think of Walter Hamada. Hopefully uh, you have faith with him going forward, doing the solo movies, and then coming together with a Justice League movie. Hopefully maybe uh, in 2020, maybe another one coming out in 2020, which I would hope. Just do the concentrate on the solo movies then in 2020, release another Justice League 2. That's what I'm hoping for. Anyway, let me know what you think of him being the new president. Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram in the description box, as well as my uh, uh, other my main channel, Trey Pass, in the description box. Uh, please check that out as well. 
And this is Paul saying so long and take care.